Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, I am Ana Maria and you are watching Miracle Orchids, the place you can learn everything there is to know about growing orchids. Alrighty guys, so in this video we are going to talk about uh, the silicone supplementation on orchids. This is a, let's say, fertilizer. Silicone usually it is found in soil and in the nature but um, in the media we are using uh, it is uh, lacking also the fertilizer that uh, the normal orchid fertilizer plant fertilizer does not contain any silicone and recently I started to test this product out and I am super super excited to share this experience with you. In my uh, recent videos you saw I have mentioned uh, this quite uh, a few times and uh, I uh, was uh, really happy by the results that uh, I uh, am getting. So uh, today uh, we are going to um, talk more about the silicone and uh, I will show to you how I am uh, mixing it. And actually I will show to you how I am mixing the whole um, fertilizing uh, water let's say so here I have the MSU fertilizer there I have uh, a bucket with uh, 10 liters of water so I'm going to take one measure of this like so and pour it there now let's close really fast this because you don't want to oxidate then I'm going to put 5 milliliters of uh, silicone for um, 10 liters of water. Now the silicone can uh, help your orchids grow really really nice and they will have thicker cells, so thicker leaves, thicker uh, spikes and blooms. But you need to respect the quantity. So uh, at uh, 5 milliliters per, uh, ter li per 10 liters your orchid will grow better. But if you put more, your orchid will uh, slow, uh, will start to grow slower, and uh, that is not good. So you need to make sure you are uh, making uh, this right. Then the silicone will raise the pH. So now I'm going to put some pH down. This is from Canna, and it is based on um, nitric acid. So uh, this will add a bit of nitrogen to. And with this little uh, thingy, I am putting, I'm not actually seeing what I'm doing because I'm looking at the camera. So uh, uh, here it is at uh, the one uh, mark in here, that is the measure I am putting. And now I will mix it very very well, stir it until it is dissolved and then we are going to test the water. By the way, um, from uh, this uh, spring I started to use uh, mostly tap water. Here in the city where I moved the tap water is a uh, let's say medium hard. Uh, it is at uh, about 7 pH with about uh, 200 uh, ppm so uh, that is not a, a low quantity but um, I decided this uh, year to test this thing out and uh, my orchids reacted well so uh, I stopped using the osmosis system um, let's see now how many ppm we have so I have about 390 ppm which means I have added about 190 ppm of fertilizer and the pH uh -huh. I think my pH is broken my pH meter is broken but uh, I have tested many times, this is how I do the mix all the time and uh, my orchid grow well. I will need to change the batteries for this because it's not working anymore. So, um, If you do the same mix all the time for all the orchids you will not need to test uh, every single time the um, uh, ppm of the water nor the pH and uh, the orchids will not mind it. I am doing this uh, already for uh, about uh, six months at least, if uh, not a bit more. So uh, this works really, really well. The silicone, I will show to you in a moment the results that I am getting. I am super, super excited. 
So now let's see a bit the signs that uh, you can uh, see the good signs, let's say, that you can see that your orchid is absorbing the silicone you are providing. So first off, the new leaf, so this one, will be more uh, dark green in color. You know when you have a new leaf uh, growing that usually is lighter. And um, not only that it is lighter, uh, Biologists have uh, discovered that the lighter the leaf is, the less uh, photosynthesis it can make. So um, it is actually good that the new leaf grows at the same uh, level of uh, green, let's say, with the older one. You can see that uh, this leaf is not yet fully mature, is not completely dark, uh, hardened up, but uh, it looks uh, quite pretty. Also, the leaf is going to be thicker. Now you can uh, feel that uh, just by touching the leaf is uh, a bit harder to show this on camera. You, It is uh, about... Uh, the difference is uh, of uh, 1 to 2 millimeters but overall it, it, it does uh, count because um, not only that uh, the orchid will store more energy but it will be healthier so uh, and uh, in the case of uh, root rose uh, the thicker the leaves the more energy they can store so it will be stronger um, also in here I have my Sideria japonica and look at the new uh, leaf is still growing but it is already dark it grew like this from the start and uh, also quite thick. The roots will grow also thicker and the flower spikes will be thicker, will be stronger so they will uh, be um, or they should be able to sustain the weight of the blooms better. As I said in nature silicone it is found within the soil and debris and uh, that stuff so uh, that is quite nice. Not all orchids are silicone accumulators, so Phalaenopsis are known for that, um, Cattleyas are known for that, and I think uh, this area is not yet uh, tested out, so uh, you uh, you should test uh, this on your own. I also saw my uh, Paphiopetalums and Phragmipediums that uh, they absorb quite well this uh, nutrient. I'm trying to show to you in here something if I can find it. So here I have a spike and uh, it is growing just well. The leaves started to grow more thick and uh, I'm quite delighted uh, that uh, the roots are growing more thick as well. Here I have another example. This is my Cattle Chief uh, Sweet Orange and look how thick the spike is and in comparison with the previous one I can safely say that it is uh, more thick and more healthy so uh, that uh, that is really really awesome also this new leaf is uh, already hardened up but the suitable is not yet fully mature so and it is still continuing to grow um, so um, the suitables and the leaves will have more strength to sustain their weight. You can see that sometimes if uh, your orchid is not properly fed, uh, the leaves will not uh, be hard enough and uh, sometimes they can bend over their own weight. But uh, by having a thicker uh, cell structure, your orchid will uh, grow more uh, or better, let's say. Here is another example, so this is a new leaf from my uh, Phalaenopsis Leodora Sweet Memory and look, she is growing quite nice, she is not all that, uh, uh, the difference uh, with the newest leaf is not all that big and uh, she is growing quite thick and pretty. I must say that until now I did not uh, yet see any difference in the leaf uh, structure for my uh, Oncidium type orchids, including Mentoniopsis, including all the family. But that is no problem. Even the Dendrobiums grow better with a thicker uh, cell structure. So this is uh, yet to be tested out. So, as I said, I am observing uh, this uh, difference uh, in thickening the leaves and uh, all the structures, especially on the orchids which uh, already have uh, rather thickish leaves. The only orchid with uh, a rather uh, thin leaf 
is the Stanhopen, which also seems to absorb a bit of uh, silicone. But uh, other than that, the Oncidums, uh, as for yet, I do not see any difference. Now let's uh, talk about what uh, this uh, thicker cell structure uh, on your orchid can uh, actually do for you. So um, the thickening of the leaves is at least supposed to make the orchid more resistant to pest um, infestations because um, pests are known to prefer orchids with thinner leaves. Uh, the thicker the cells uh, are, the thicker the structures are, the harder it is for them to bite on them. Second of all, the orchids are uh, supposed, at least in uh, theory, or uh, this is what the scientists uh, say, that your orchid should withstand uh, cooler temperatures better, but also warmer temperatures. So um, this is also applicable for the sunburns. So here it is an orchid which has been unshaded all summer long. And oopsie, look at that! I'm a bit afraid of them. <laughs> All right, so um, okay, so uh, we have really plenty of sunlight. You can see how bright it is, and uh, this orchid has been many, many times unshaded uh, when uh, the sun was quite hot and the leaves did not get burned. And uh, this uh, happened after I started to give her silicone. I started to use the silicone about two or three months ago, I believe, and uh, this uh, really helps uh, my orchid a lot. The new uh, growth of this orchid not only grew bigger, so here we have uh, two examples. These are the two biggest suitables that this orchid ever produced. This orchid did not want it to produce any shit for me. Uh, not only mentioned it, it did not bloom for uh, about um, four years now and uh, after I started to give her silicone the leaves grew bigger, thicker and uh, I have uh, two huge uh, very fat sheets. Also the pseudobulbs are growing bigger, the roots seem uh, to be much more happier. This orchid never um, wanted to grow roots in the air but rather she wanted to push them uh, inside because uh, she was a bit sensitive um, and uh, the roots um, as soon as they uh, encounter um, air with uh, less humidity uh, the roots uh, the root tips would uh, burn or uh, die back so um, now we can see that my roots are stronger and healthier and now i'm going to see if this orchid is actually going to push up some uh, blooms and how the spikes will look like but uh, from what i'm seeing so far the spikes are growing more thick than the previous time and i'm quite quite happy here is another example, a new leaf on a Cattleya gasciliana and uh, we can see that the leaf is already dark in color, hardened up and looking pretty pretty nice, although the suitable is not yet mature, so uh, that protects a lot uh, the orchid. And here is another example, a Brassavola St. Andre and look how thick this uh, leaf grew. Uh, of course, uh, if you go too far with the sun expo exposure, you will still uh, uh, sunburn your orchid, so uh, you need to pay attention to that. Uh, here I have an example, this orchid was in bloom recently and uh, I uh, am not shading anymore the orchids because uh, the sun is not uh, anymore uh, all that strong, but this time uh, we did have uh, about one hour of uh, stronger, stronger sunlight and this was right after this orchid um, stayed about two months inside the house because she was uh, really um, in bloom and looking all nice and fragrant so I wanted to enjoy the blooms. She got de-adjusted uh, from receiving high amounts of sunlight, I did not shade it and I burn it. That is that. This is a new orchid which I also burned, but uh, with new orchids when you put them outdoors you should really shade them, this is my fault, I totally assume it. But as soon as these orchids will receive more silicone, um, the new ones will get uh, adjusted better to higher amounts of sun and they will be stronger, like this one here. 
And here is a very good difference on uh, how the silicone affects uh, your orchid. So here is uh, a suitable that grew just before uh, this uh, new one grew with silicone. The leaf got bended, it uh, did not have uh, enough strength, but look at the new ones which grew under uh, the silicone supplementation. Really, really nice, isn't it? Here is another example, so I put the orchid outdoors right after I bought it, it uh, burnt out um, here and here. That is okay, the orchid was not uh, properly uh, adjusted, but here is the new growth that it is growing and I really hope you can see uh, that the leaf is uh, dark, is not light green in color and uh, the cells are really, really thick for a uh, a leaf that is just starting to form so I am uh, really uh, delighted but how uh, by how the orchid is growing this is that Caltlea village chief parfum snowflower this have has some common parents with the um, uh, Hawaii with the um, Iwanagara apple blossom and um, if you don't find the Iwanagara you should definitely go to check this orchid out because she has a very very similar fragrance with uh, the Iwanagara. Now um, here is uh, another example of uh, how well the sun um, and the heat and the growing outdoors helps the orchid grow uh, bigger. So one new growth, two, three, four and five. How about that? Before that she only had uh, two directions of growth I can see here or maybe three maximum but not five. And uh, the roots really adjusted fast to semi-hydro. I have um, repotted this orchid into semi-hydro about one month ago maybe. So uh, she I can say is doing really really well and the silicone is helping her. Uh, if you have any other questions guys, please leave them in the comment section below. I will also put some uh, scientific uh, information in the desc description and um, I will put you some links uh, from some surveys that I have read. So um, go and check that uh, out as well. And with that being said guys, thank you very much for watching and see you all next time. Bye!